I went ahead and poured four quarts of oil over the top of these cams. Get all over the back of that chain. Makes a little bit of a mess, but you clean it up later. I want to just make sure I got everything oiled up up here. So when we turn it over, we're going to leave the oil filter off and see if we can get some oil come out the oil filter hole, which is down here. That's why I left that off. That big square thing you see there's oil cooler. That's uh, the next culprit if that thing is plugged up, which is a possibility, you know, they'll, they'll plug up. So I actually have a clean one around here somewhere. I have to dig it up, but we'll go ahead and crank it over and see if we can get some oil blowing out there. I don't even know if I can get the camera to sit here to watch it or not. Okay, we're looking for oil to come blowing out there. I'll actually hear it in here. See what we get. Nothing so far. All right, it ain't looking promising. I uh, can't get a lot of oil pressure out of that bottom end, so we'll go ahead and stick the uh, plugs in it, get the uh, boots on it, plug the coils in, and see if uh, when we start it, the oil pressure doesn't come up and shut up. We'll find out here in a minute. All right, we got it. Uh, just temporarily stuck together to see if she'll start. Well, we know it'll start. We just want to see if we get any um, oil pressure out of it with some clean oil. Mm -hmm. I got a fitting that'll screw into where the oil sending unit went. And then we just uh, tighten this down, hook this up to our hose. All right. If I can get the camera to stay put. When I start that up, that should be, you know, 20, 30 pounds of oil pressure. I don't think it's going to add much in here. found our problem. We've either got a bad oil pump 
or the bottom end is so sludged up that it's um, not letting it have any oil. So the oil pan's got to come off. So, that's all for right now, folks.